Hello everyone, welcome to ProMind's AutoCAD Tips and Tricks. This week we'll be going over a very useful tip, uh, especially when you have a polyline that's not closed and you're trying to hatch, but you're not sure where the gap is happening. So let's take an example here. I'll just insert some layers. And the next thing we'll do is if we zoom in here, we should have our mine site. Now let's say this polyline here, we're going to split, or I'll just draw a new polyline like this. And then another one going this way. And finally, I'm continuing this way. Now, if we type in P edit, and then say we're going to edit multiple polylines, we'll select all three and then press enter and it'll ask you what you want to do with them. So the next thing we'll do is we're going to join them and it's going to ask you for the fuzz distance. Now for the join type, you can use instead of extend or add a new point, we can do both in this case so that if the angle is too steep, it'll just add another point and connect them. And if they're on the same gradient, then it would just extend them. So we'll do both in this case. And then for the fuzz distance, you have to, you can pick it on the screen. Just make sure that it's bigger than the gap that you have. So here, and we'll close it. That way we can have our closed boundary so that we can hatch. So this is a useful tip when you have a polyline that doesn't allow you to hatch. So it, it's an open boundary, but then you're not sure where the gap is. The gap, the gap is too small to see on the screen. So you can use this P edit command so that you can close the gap that you have. And that way you can continue to hash. So now if we try to hash this region here, we should be able to. And there you go, that's the hatch. That concludes this week's AutoCAD tips and tricks. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for a topic, please send them to us through the comments section below. Thank you for watching.